hey, today we're going to work all the way into legs, hips and inversions. So get ready and have fun. All right, are you ready? Let's warm up the legs. Feet together to the top of your mat. Stretch up. Exhale. Lower down. Head to your knees. Lift. Exhale, right leg back. Stay. Breathe. Push your right heel back. Lock the right knee. Bring your shoulders away from your ears. So I'm going to try and move through quite a bit of a posture sequence. So not too slow and not too fast. Okay, left foot back. Stay belly up to the spine. Shoulders away from your ears. Stay. Always going to warm up. Lower down. Lift the chest. Pull. And push back. Stay here. Try and get your chest towards your legs. Relax the neck. Heels down. You can pull your toes up. Try and feel the back of the calves. And then right leg forward. Belly in. Shoulders away from you. Breathe. Is your neck relaxed? Mm, left foot forward, stretch your chest, exhale, inhale, stretch up, enjoy, exhale, come forward, lengthen your spine, away from your hips, hands down, lift the chest, exhale, left foot back, Stay, lock the knee, push the heel back, breathe. Stay, come. Right foot back. And lower. Lift. Push. Adho Mukha Svanasana, belly to your spine. Shorten the stance if you need to. Hip bones up. Relax the neck. <sighs> Left foot forward. Lock the right leg. Right foot forward. Lift. Exhale. Inhale. Stretch up. Exhale. Come on forward. Interlace your fingers, stretch your shoulders. So how are you doing in your life so far? Have you asked yourself that question lately? Hands down. Lift the chest. Say, jump or step. Lower. Lift. Push. Not so much a judgmental question. More of a... Are you doing things that are close to what you want? Or are you completely far away from it? Inhale. Jump a step. Lift. Just exhale. Lift. Inhale. Up. Stretch. Go back. And come forward, interlace the other thumb in front. Belly to your spine, stretch your arms over your head, hands up. Lift the chest, exhale, jump or step, lower, lift. Push back, Adam Kushanasa. Breathe. Mm. Right leg up, open up. To the side. Oh, let's just go right away into 
One time. Lift your right arms. It's over. Hips up. Mm. Come back. Right leg up. And come forward. Come into chin stand. Lift. Exhale. Lower. Mm, breathe. Relax your neck. So, just for this class, let's try and get a little closer to your center, yourself, shall we? Left leg up. I mean, eventually, like, you're the one who can, like, I can't do it for you. Lift your hips. Stretch. But hips up, straighten the right leg. Breathe. Slowly come back. Lift the left leg. Come into chin. Forward, down. Lift your chest. Exhale. Belly up. Relax the neck. <laughs> Inhale, jump. And step, stretch, exhale. Lift, stretch, back bend. Exhale, come forward. Hands down. Lift. Push. But if you're not going to ask yourself, ever, who will do it for you? Push back. But then also, try not to overdo the asking. Try and breathe. Jump. Lift. Exhale. I think this was the last one. Stretch up, back bend. Okay, one more stretch forward. So we're going to warm up the legs from here. Hands up. Jump. Lower. Lift. Push. Very nice. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to start left leg forward. More you want. Stretch out. Enjoy every movement. It'll be so much better for your body and mind. Open up. More you too. Spine up. Breathe. Find stillness and relaxation in tension. Go Strikonasana, stretch up, stretch down, breathe. Right leg super locked. And then straighten the left leg. Keep the left hand on the floor or the back of the hand against the shin. Stretch up, belly in. Lengthen your spine away from the hips. And let's uh, do this in a twist variation. We did it the other day. Bring your left arm around the left leg. Straighten the right arm and bind if you can. You can try. Change. Right hand, Parvita, Rikunas. Push your hand out, left arm up. Again, lengthen the spine away from your pelvis. Stretch up. Yeah. And then change. Let's do the other side. Bend the right knee. Stretch up. One. Mm. Sit low. Or 
area too. Lift the chest, spine up, lean back. Find the stillness. And go straight Touch between the first and second toe. Pull the heel pushing down. Pull the body this direction, headwise. So you're lengthening the left leg, creating space in the left hip joint. Stretch up and over. Change. Straighten the right leg and push the right hand against the floor. Left arm up. Spine away from your hips. Just as much as you can stretch. And then we're going for the twist variation. Straighten the left arm. Breathe, grab. If you can, the forearm, otherwise hands, fingers, shorts. Good. But about that, Rikunasana, step a tiny bit closer, left hand down. Belly in, right arm up. Breathe. Lengthen. Right butt back. Change. All right. Let's go into horse dance. Sit low. Breathe. Okay, we're going to stretch into it, right? Shoulder forward. Your toes should be the same direction as your knees. Left shoulder forward. And now both. Chest up. And if you feel like you can go there, elbows done. And then, I'm straight. Heels up. Breathe. Very good warm up for your hamstrings, adductors, butt. Lean back. Chains. All right. Prasarita padottanasana or shredder. Just done. Let's say lengthen down. Let's see. We're going to make the easy one first. Hands walk through, head down, spine long. Try and walk your hands through and look left and right to see whether you are between your feet with the head. If not, bring more weight into your toes, open the feet more, do what you need to do. Lock the knees though, you want to strengthen the front of the thighs to get the back of the thigh to relax. Agonist antagonist principle. Goes throughout the whole body. Ready? Lift the chest. Good. Okay. So let's go hands on the back. Reverse Namaskar or grab the elbows if not possible at all. Lifting the chest. Exhale. Down. Shoulders away from your ears. Again, you want to try with a little bit more core strength than before to bring the head between the feet. All right, lift the chest. Very nice. Last one. Just bring your arms behind your heels if you are there. And try and lengthen a little bit. Pull through, getting the shoulders slower. Maybe to touch. It's just a warm up. You don't have to do shoulder stand now. We're going to do it later. So maybe 
little by little you can slide out with your feet and bring the shoulders down. Tighten the thighs. Breathe. Long. Arm straight. My fingers are touching my Achilles tendon, pushing a little bit in, so it's a little bit biceps, um, biceps activation. Triceps anyway. Shoulders are pushing down. Okay. Roll over your shoulder. Take your hands to help. Nice. Let's see what we can do with um, tripod, shall we? So, bring your feet together. Uh, you can stay whichever way you prefer. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to have to see what I can do with my uh, broken thumb. <laughs> but um, that shouldn't be an obstacle for you, right? Okay. If tripod is new for you, just uh, try and do the basics. I do explain it in other videos. I might be able to link it, but baby, ba basically it's a bunny setup. And a little bit behind the knees and then the head on the floor. And then the butt lifting up. And you want to like bring your legs um, either just on the triceps and just stay here. And that's fine for you if you're new to this. Or if you, if you are regular with headstand, you can pike up and just see how you're feeling with this. So... It's a little bit more triceps, this one, than normal headstand. Otherwise, it's quite all right. Same, same. Straighten all the way up. And just breathe. Usually I like to do side crow or other arm balance variations, I think I can't do it. So I'm going to go down and set up again for a side crow. You are welcome to just come down. I think it's going to be an overload for my thumb. <laughs> so I'm going to bring my knees to the right. You are welcome to do that from the uh, tripod. I'm going to bring your elbows in. Stretch. One leg back, one leg to this side. Or, if you can, both legs. One direction. It's not so easy. <laughs> if you are still in the tripod variation, you can go up now and then bring your knees to the other side. That's how I usually do it. <laughs> Left knees. So, the baby variation would be to bring the elbow into your thigh, right? But if you can hold it, strength-wise, better keep the hip away. Okay, one leg straight, other leg straight, back, or both legs. Ooh. This one I can't do with my thumb. So, both legs in one direction. Maybe if I do it baby first. Yeah, baby will work. Okay. <laughs> you just gotta go with the flow, right? Okay, very nice. So let's see. Maybe we can still do one tripod variation together. If you're still up there, wonderful. If you need a break, come down. <laughs> and I'm gonna go up one more time. Bring the knees in. Uh, bring the knees into eager variation. So left leg over your right. And then bring your left leg onto your right elbow. Lift the chest. <laughs> bring the head down. Lift the butt. Ah, 
and didn't do this for weeks. <laughs> you actually get weak when you do things. Right leg over left. Onto your left leg. Left elbow, sorry. Lift up. And down again. Butt up. This part is the hardest. It might not look that way, but... <laughs> Getting the butt back up is the hardest part. Come down and relax for a moment. In child pose or in puppy pose. Breathe. Very nice. Okay. So let's just jump uh, into something we don't. I don't remember if we ever did it in one of the classes. It's called Shalabhasana. So uh, it's quite hard really to get the legs over the head so you can uh, if if you don't if you didn't build up the strength yet you can um, bend the knees to get over that uh, point I will show you what I mean <laughs> so again there maybe my setup will be slightly different from what you should do so you're basically are going to bring your arm straight underneath your body And we're going to bring the palms facing down. Little finger touch. Grab the floor. Now this is upper spine, so make sure you're going to push the shoulders down. Take a deep breath. And just find the strength in your legs to come up and forward. Inhale. Up. Just keep breathing. If you like, touch your foot. Stretch. So better would be straight legs going back, but since uh, I dislocated my thumb, <laughs> I had to go. Uh, there's really several ways to do it. I had to go uh, with the knees bent, but you're always welcome to do uh, a stronger way, <laughs> right? I can't balance on my thumb right now. But basically, so this posture is all about learning to use the upper spine and the shoulder strength. But if your legs are longer than your torso, it will be hard to lift them. So then you can bend the knees to stretch forward. And then you want to like use all your energy to go up, right? Should we try it one more time? We can try it one more time. Just put the mic off. <laughs> Um, there is one way though you can do it. Uh, if you're like nowhere near this, you can walk your knees in um, and then straighten the legs in the air and you're going to lift just one leg up and just stay like this and breathe. It's going to get a little bit that feeling of where you need to push in the shoulders. And um, some people hop up from there, but I don't. I never agree with hopping <laughs> any inversion, even this one. Okay, if you want to try again, one more time. Inhale, lift the leg, stretch up, push the shoulders down.
Yeah. <laughs> okay, so not easy to talk. Again, if you can do it any better and slower. Great for you. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> let's kind of stretch for a moment. Tuck your head in, tight pose. Or even round the spine. Let's pull the knees up. Chin to your chest. Breathe. Good. Let's do this one more time. Only now we're going to straighten the legs. I'm going to stay up on the top of the toes, okay? Exhale. Round the spine. Chin to your chest. Push. Push, push. Very nice. Good. All right. Good. Let's turn around. Uh, I think we are warmed up legs quite well. Um, I want to do one more half strengthening, half stretching, which is Baddha Konasana Bridge. Um, and then I think we're ready for lotus. Okay. Bring the heels close to your butt. Take a deep breath. Bring your arms to your sides. And inhale, lift up the hips. Push the shoulders down. Just like before, only now we're in the other, the other way around. We're pushing the back of the shoulders down. And try and open your knees, lower them, and just lift the hips. This is a very good place to be in. Breathe. Most of us are missing this hip opening. Again, lower the knees, lift the hips. Chest and chin touching. Breathe. Good, now come forward to the ball of the feet. Lift the hips up more. Again, open the knees. One more time, lift the hips. This is so good for you. Lower the heels. T try to lift the toes, the balls of the feet. And again, lift. And then slowly lower down but close to your heels. And let's just stay here for a moment. Relax. So if you're familiar to the variation where you are binding Badakonasana with, um, with a strap, you can do this basically without the strap by holding onto your shins close to your ankle and then trying to lean back again. It'll be not the same, but close. Nice stretch on the shoulder, though. <laughs> Relax the butt. Change. Okay. Let's do Suptavrasana. So you come up, your knees in, feet in. Your heels should touch the hips. You can open your knees, no worries. You should actually, because what I'm about to do is going to be harder otherwise. Like you can always close if you're super flexible. So relax on the floor. Try not to do a back bend. We're going into... Try and straighten the spine, push down. So the tables down and forward towards the knees, and you're pushing down into the ground, right? And then we're going for a crunch variation. So pushing down the knees, bring arms up and lift up. 
as much as you can with the knees down. It's not so easy. That's why I told you to keep the knees apart. It's probably easier. Nothing about this is really easy. <laughs> I really love this intense stretch here. But, you know, some of you might cry. I don't know. <laughs> it's all a matter of perspective, I guess. Pull down. Belly to the spine. Keep reaching your fingertips towards your knees. Let's stay up. Ten more seconds. But honest ones. Keep breathing. Mm, and relax. Oh, what a great stretch, right? <laughs> All right. Let's come up. And see what lotus we can do. All right. Let's start with Siddhasana. So both here's in one line from the front should look like your heels are in one line. If your knees are hurting, adjust to your need. Lift the chest, lean back. So we're trying to tuck a little bit. It's like the butterfly hip bridge, right? So we're kind of opening the knees and lifting the hip. It's the same movement. Okay, other heel in front. Lift the chest. Good. Okay. Straighten your both legs. Bring your left leg on top of your right thigh. Ardha Padma Pashimantanasana. Bring your left arm around, grabbing your foot, grab the right hand onto, stretch the chest. So if your knee is not going to do that, bring your foot forward and flex it. And then you're just grabbing the hip bone. Okay. Or you can grab the foot with both hands. So just give your knees the time to open up or not, you know, and act accordingly. Change on the side. Bring your right leg up. Ah, oh, this today, for example, a little harder. So remember, you can always flex the foot. Bring it onto the thigh. It's not a competition. Lift the chest. Make sense. Belly down. Chest forward. Look forward, breathe, change. Okay, half lotus. So bring the left foot up and just bring the right foot close to the left chin. Exhale, lower down and stay. Relax as much as you can. Belly to the spine, a little bit activation. It's going to help with the hip opening. Change. Other side. Right, right foot on top of the left thigh. And then bring the foot in only to touch the shin. Relax forward. Arm position is not important. Choose what is comfortable for you. And relax. Okay. Very nice. 
Okay, so now we're going for a position called life pose. Pranasana. We're going to bring the left foot up onto uh, the upper thigh. If you can, push the heel towards your lower abdomen, right? Bend the right knee. Push the heel into the abdomen. And try and get your arm, shoulder, what's that, armpit? onto your right knee. It's a tough one. Bringing the hand flat underneath your right foot. Stretch the chest. And stretch the left arm. Don't push in your knee, right? This is just a, it's a counterbalance arm stretch. It's not a crazy violence um, stretch. You want to like really bring the armpit on top of your knees. My hip opening is not sufficient for this, but I try. Breathe. Eventually, the right hip will come down. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Relax the knees. Right foot up. For some of you, it might be really easy. This one, right? I know. It's always something. You can do better. Um, something that you can't. That's how our bodies are. Okay, so push the heel into the lower abdomen. It's meant to stimulate the lymphatic system. Bring the hand underneath your foot. Armpit is on top of your knee. Try and relax into it. And straighten the arm. If you can, bring your hand arm straight onto your leg. Then maybe... Beyond journey. Okay? Breathe. Prana is the life force in Ayurveda or in yoga, which is yoga is a part of Ayurveda. So, medicine. So, you are constricting the prana flow on purpose and then releasing. Right? Right knee locked and relaxed. Good. Okay. Let's try and go for uh, lotus. So choose the leg that you like best for now, for today. I'm going left leg first. It was easier for me today. It switches really. Bring the right leg up if you can on top. This is not happening for you. You can just uh, go in half lotus again and just keep trying. Okay. Sit straight. Again, we're doing the same. So you're slightly tucking and opening the knees. Breathe. Stay. Okay, so let's do lotus in the air. For that, you go onto your elbows. Lift the knees up in a somewhat 90 degree angle to your body. Your elbows should be 90 degree. And then lift the chest up higher to touch your chin. Try and keep the knees in one level. And breathe. And then try and bring your neck into a straight position again. Good. Relax your knees down. Let's see if we can do lifting lotus. Bring your elbows in front of your feet, grab the floor, take a deep breath, and lift up. That's all I can do with my thumb. Hopefully you're higher. Just up, but up. 
and blow it up. It doesn't matter if it, it doesn't work one day. Sometimes we are doing less of a degree of a posture, but the same activation, and eventually it will end up in the same way the moment you are in that space again. So just mentally working on it is going to make a difference. Okay, let's come to the back of the mat, and we're doing spider. So come forward. You can lay flat on your belly and bring your hands in reverse namaskar. We can lift up a little. Very nice. Push against the floor. Now, if your lotus is a little bit wider, that's great. That's wanted. I'm going to try and do mountain. It's so going to flex your feet a little bit against your legs. That It might be hard. It depends on your degree of hip opening in that day, right? Push the hips forward, but it's tight, flexing the feet a little bit. Now you're going to reach one arm up. Actually, it's always the other thing. <laughs> I reach the left arm up and then... You bring your right arm in front of your chest and up too. <laughs> so try and keep the balance up there. Not so easy. Again, if your hip opening is better, it's probably easier. Let's uh, let's end up with peacock lotus. It's very easy. Uh, we should do it. So it's easier than a normal peacock. I'm gonna bring your hands in. I'm gonna go fist. Don't do that if you're not used to doing fist because that it's really harder to balance. Bring your elbows in, pushing into the abdomen. Lift the knees up. And lift the chest up and breathe and stay. And go down. Nice. Okay. And straighten the legs. Relax. So, if you feel like you have to repeat the other side, like the whole lotus sequence, with the uh, other foot uh, in front then, or on top, then go ahead, uh, press pause and do that. Mm. Otherwise, I think we're going to end here. Uh, let's do one more time, but of a jasana, one of my favorite twists. So bring the foot in, the left foot on top of your right leg. And then you're going to bring your, your right hand, palm down, turning in, and left arm up and around, and then you grab your foot, lift the chest, and twist. Again, the chest, and twist. Again, lift the chest, and twist. Nice. And let's do the other side. So, left knee is in. Heel is touching the hips. Right. Heel is going up. Left hand, palm facing down, going down underneath the knee. Right arm up and around, grabbing the foot or ankle, shin. If you're really flexible, lift your chest. Makes a twist. Inhale, chest up, makes a twist. Again, inhale, chest up, makes a twist. Change. All right. I think we deserved a little shoulder stand. Stretching the legs. We can go one more time into lotus in there. And then we're good. Bring your legs up your head. Chin to your chest. 
arms straight on the back, lift the legs. Breathe. Tight body, light body. Try and find the relaxation in your neck though, because your neck is not supposed to have any strain. Just pushing the shoulder bones down, the back of the head down. Your feet should be above your shoulders. And if you like, one more time, you can choose the other leg on top if you didn't do both legs. So we kind of did both legs. <laughs> Gonna be shorter, that's the hands in the back or hands on the floor, straight arms. And then lift your lotus up to the ceiling. Knees up, pushing the hips towards the head side. So knees back and hips forward, right? Just like in mountain, only on the shoulders. And then fold your lotus into a 90 degree position, your arms straight against the legs. Breathe. And then let's do a little variation. I really like Iyengar Saika. So bring your hand underneath your sacrum. You're going to turn your hips to the right. So the knees are turning to the left. So the hips are turning to the right side. I'm going to bring the hand palm underneath the sacrum and lengthen the lotus away from your body. Three. You can do the straight legs. The left hand is not really doing anything. Your neck is relaxed. Change. Lift. Left hand under the sacrum. And stretch your knees away from your body. This one is harder for me. My injury. You go ahead and do it. <laughs> I come out. I'll wait for you. Breathe. Taint. Okay, come back. And then we meet straight lotus one more time. Straighten the legs. And just bring right leg down. Let's make sure we stretch the legs one more time. Stay. As long as possible, touching the toes to the seating. Other side. Lengthening down with the left. Right foot up. And then stretch up and both legs over your head. Arm straight. Lower. Into Karuna Vidasana, your knees next to your ears. You can grab your heels or bring the hands underneath your knees or fists. Bring your weight more into your knees. And slowly, slowly, roll back. Vada ba ba vada ba. Try and massage your back. Go slow. So slow. So slow. Stay with your legs 90 degree angle. Let's do Siddha Vanasana one more time. So you're going to bring your elbows down. Oh, actually, probably you need to bring your foot, feet down. It's easier. Push your hands against the floor and touch the top of your head to the floor. And then just lift your legs. And lift your arms parallel to your legs. Breathe. Stay calm. Change. Hands next to your 
head again and relax down. Knees to the left. Knees to the right. Both legs straight, relax, release, breathe. Let the tension go. And let your body float into the floor. Slow, slow breathing. Feel the difference between the tension and the postures or the tension building up through being in lotus, which is a different kind of tension than activating your muscles all the way. And relaxing now, being completely relaxed position. Let your shoulders relax. Let your neck relax. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.